Well, the U.S. housing market has cooled off in recent weeks, thanks largely to interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve, but that was all designed to slow inflation. But have things slowed down too much that we may now have entered a housing recession? So joining us now to help answer the question is James Urio. He's a trader, broker, and macroeconomics analyst. James, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, so are we in a housing recession? Oh, sure. And you mentioned, you know, the overarching theme is that just to put it in perspective, nine months ago, uh, mortgage rates were three percent. Now they're let's call them five and a half percent. So the same monthly payment that you could buy a four hundred fifteen thousand dollar house for nine months ago. Now you can buy a three hundred thousand dollar house for just nine months later. So as we would expect, we've seen active listings go up thirty one percent. Pending home sales in June were down eight point six percent. Now, there's a statistic that I think is very, very interesting is that 16 percent of of agreed upon purchases are now following, falling apart before they close. That number has never been higher in the history. They've been keeping that statistic, except for March and April of 2022. But if 2020, if you tease those two months out, this is the highest ever. So I think it's a, I think it's a big deal. And I think what's, what's really interesting to me is that rents are just now rising to catch up with the huge home price increase over the last year and a half because they lagged so much. And now we're seeing the whole thing turn around. All right, so James, you know, we hear this thing called homeowner sentiment. Explain for us, what is that? Well, that, that to me, that 16% of the deals falling apart, those are actual people out there because people look for reasons to get out of that deal and they do it a lot more effectively when they think it's the right time to do so. And that's what's interesting to me. But home builder sentiment, too, has fallen eight months in a row. And the only other time that's ever happened is in 2007. And we all know what happened then. So the tide has definitely turned. But I know before you asked, is it the right time to buy? What's very fascinating to me about the, the real estate market is that sellers don't always get the memo as quick as in other markets. When the stock market, when things start to turn, people press buttons and they sell their stock. People aren't lowering the prices yet of their homes, so it tends to be a long lag effect. But I, I think it's there for that to happen, and I think it should just be a matter of weeks or months. All right, so just a matter of time before we may see those uh, home prices or the asking prices go down. You know, you're talking about people trying to get out of these deals. So at this point, is it a better environment for buyers or for sellers? Still, it's still right now, it's kind of in the in-between. Better environment for sellers. It's going to be a better environment for buyers, too. But there's one thing I wanted to add, to People who've been around a long time, they look back to 2006 through 2008 and see the dramatic decrease in home prices that we saw then. We have to remember that that was built up inventory was built up like people bought houses that they shouldn't have bought for three decades you know your, your brother-in-law who was a plumber owned five homes that he was planning on you know turning around that hasn't happened right now too so when i see a pullback in prices i'm not thinking it's going to be anything as dramatic back then i think it's cooling it's probably necessary the froth that was put into the housing market which many of us don't understand why the fed was buying mortgage-backed bonds a year and a half ago when the real estate market was already heating up so ultimately this is a good thing but it could be a rocky road all right could be a rocky road all right james Uriel, thank you so much for your time thank you thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage